Today on Rabbit Transit Garage, we are putting Jason's inner fender in. This came out of a parts car in the junkyard. And by request uh, from a previous video, which we'll put in the links, uh, people had uh, mentioned that we should use the existing one rather than buying a new one. So he drilled all the all the previous walls out of there. Looks like a woodpecker got to it. It's possible. And get it ready for the car. Right now we're throwing some self tappers in there to try to set it in place. This thing it is a little deformed from being in. In a previous car. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, I gotta use the wrong hand. <laughs> that hurts a little. Okay, we're done. How did the other one line up on the top? It's got to come back out. It's not even close. It walked away. See, this one on the original car mm -hmm. had this weird ass bend to it. It was never right. I don't like that. I want that closer. So I'm taking that back. See, now this is fighting you here. Yeah, it's the whole thing that'll fight me. I think it's actually harder than Phillips. <laughs> Bring it in some. So this was off, uh, had like a really weird, kind of went out and then came back in. So I'm not expecting it to be right or close. Thinking we should almost nip I'm this gonna off right away. I'm going to have to cut that away. off it's going to fight me the whole time. Hoping we could take and cut this as it was in the car, but I don't think that's going to work. Shock tower's looking all right. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm just looking at looking at the top there. Mm-hmm. How about it? It doesn't look close at all. Why? Really? Top it up. This, these don't light up. Well, that's what I was asking before. I didn't if see this light up here. It would be nowhere near where it needs to be. Um, tape measure. It's on the rolly cart. And we'll fight with this a little bit and we'll be back. Cutting it right next to where the seam lay or the body lays over. He cut it right on that seam on off the car, so it be right on if not damn close. Oh man, I got hit in the gut.
Close. It's close. Might be doing some filling grinding, but. That better? Yeah, it's gonna overlap. Wait, we can trim that off. Well, I purposely want to be able to grind it down. in there and then need to measure one. Use a knee age rating. Yep, yep. We'll be back. We got our self tapper there, self tapper there, self tapper there, self tapper there. This will take some trimming. Trimming. Some trimming. God, it's gonna be loud on here. <sighs> How are we looking on the seam on the back? Um, can I can go down to it or not? See where? How's it looking on the back, back, back side there? Gonna look good in about. Hold her right in. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> this is it's perfect. Yeah, we'll, we'll use that word. <laughs> did it fill? Did it fill the gap on the backside? This? Yeah. Bit, right, right next to the self tapper. When I, I'll go back in and tap it down. And I. Well, boy, I wish this was out of here. Yep. Thanks, Chrysler. Thanks for making it possible to change that. Bastards. This is the kind of stuff you do on an extreme limited budget. Right That's here. Not the word for it. going on back there it's gotta go down okay oh look like didn't look like it was gonna go down but i need to make measurements measure so he's got it tacked in radiator or the uh, core support the radiator opening is dead nuts on right now everything's zipped there still got to do on the back side And it doesn't move. So, got to clean up the weld or clean up the areas and start welding up. Got her where she needs to be. Cleaned it up. A little bit of a gap there. But going to tack it and hold it. Man, God, is it nice outside. Ugh. I 
to finish grinding that or sanding it off. It's fugly now, but it's getting in one piece. top of the core support welded and cleaned up got to do the front side yet but putting the outer brace on this is the jack from a uh, BR series Ram so 94 up to 2001 this is the most convenient little bottle jack it's nice and small it's light if you're into ATVing like we are uh, it fits nice in the pack or trunk of a of an ATV for trail repairs things like that but um, obviously it can be used for other things as well in there. I'm like, yes. I painted your fucking pleasure. What a dick. I guess it's only here really loud enough to hear. I can suddenly hear really well. your deal, dude. Space. <laughs> Why in the fuck is that such an issue? Kind of ugly. Yeah, right now. 
know, they are kind of ugly. A little bit of background, this inner fender was out of a junkyard car. And it, when he was taking it apart, the spot weld cutter broke. So they were drilled out. So we have, he has some big old holes to fill. But it'll look, uh, it'll look just as bad when it's done. It'll be <laughs> functional. It'll look good when it's done. And it was a far cry from what he started with. Little bit of hole filling, filling up those massive drill holes, and smoothing it out. And smoothing it out. I don't want to bond with this. We'll fill and sand, fill and grind, and fill and grind. Hmm. So that's the way we'll fill and grind it. Fill and grind. Coming right along. One thing I wanted to note, look how straight that is. This is actually, like I said, from a junkyard front clip. Turned out pretty well. So has to finish grinding on the inside, but all in all, it's turning out pretty damn good. That concludes this video on the inner fender install on a 66 satellite. Pulled out of the junkyard. The inner fender's pulled out of the junkyard. As you can see, the everything's tacked together here, welded together. All the plugs are filled. A lot of grinding and cleanup to do. Ended up having the flux core, uh, the other welder ran out of gas, so we ended up using the flux core. But, it's coming along. Nice and strong. All the measurements are right. So it didn't turn out too bad. Please like, share, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Interested to see what people say about it. And uh, have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.